Special edition of Keeping It Real with Rob. We're uh, doing an episode during the summer months, and that is because Green Level just announced a new head coach for the varsity girls soccer team. His name is TJ Poland. He's, you know, pretty familiar with Green Level. You've probably seen him around, but congratulations, coach. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. I appreciate you having me on. For those that are not familiar with you and your journey here to Green Level and, and becoming the new varsity head coach of the soccer team kind of walk me through your career and your life and how you ended up here as a Gator yeah um so I'm originally from upstate New York um where I played soccer I played basketball um I made the move to North Carolina about 10 years ago um and I got my start at uh Mills Park Middle School which is the feeder middle school for green level um I spent eight years there I was the boys and girls soccer coach for six of those years. And then I was also the girls basketball coach there for about six years uh, before coming to green level two years ago, uh, where I've been uh, the JV girls basketball coach and then the JV boys soccer coach last year. And now here you are as, as the varsity head coach for the girls soccer team, taking over for coach lamb who just announced her retirement. Uh, and it was a, a great season for green level uh, girls soccer this past spring did lose a, a few key seniors that uh, that just graduated just a few weeks ago uh, but looking at what you have for next season how are you feeling what are what are some of the expectations I'm, I'm really excited because I know that there's a lot of talent coming back um, I know that there's some talent coming up from the, the JV team and I'm excited to see what comes up with the rising freshmen um, Coach Lamb did an excellent job the last two seasons. I think they were 13 win teams the past two seasons were able to make the playoffs both those years. Um, so I'm just really excited to continue to build off of the <clears throat> foundation that she established. And I'm excited to have her be part of the staff too with me. So excited for that. And, and that's the thing. She'll, she'll be sticking around. She'll be helping out for you personally. What do you think is going to be the biggest challenge you know, being JV basketball coach, JV boys soccer, and now varsity girls soccer, what's going to be the biggest adaptation for you? Um, I mean, I think the biggest thing, especially when you're starting, and I'm familiar with some of these players because I, I did coach them at the middle school level. I'm sure that their game has evolved quite a bit since that time. Uh, but getting to know the players, because I think that that's how you can be successful as a coach is like knowing how to play to your strengths depending on – what personality you have, what kind of uh, talent, what kind of skill base your players have. So I'm excited to really get to know the players and then kind of go from there. Um, so I think that's going to be the biggest challenge just because this is my first year with the women's team at, and especially, I mean, at the varsity level. So I think that's the biggest thing going on. Do you have a, a specific coaching style that you want to stick to or is it really going to be kind of just based on what you see you have and, and, and really go from there? I mean, I do, as I would say, as far as my style, I like to play a more aggressive kind of style when it comes to soccer, um, trying to trap teams in their own half, uh, wear them down, like over the course of the game. But it really, it does depend on the personnel. I know with some of the returners, there's a lot of versatility with the players too, which is exciting. So I think that there's, and I'm going to, we'll talk to Coach Lamb, I'm going to talk to a lot of the players, but seeing how we can utilize that versatility and all that talent that's coming back to help us be the most successful. Um but yeah, that aggressive style, trying to trap teams in their half, especially like on the attack, try to wear them down and be able to score some goals. That's what we're going to be trying to do this year. Something that I've really noticed talking to coaches from other teams of green level throughout the school year is, is it, it seems to be a common theme where we talk about how tough the conference is. No matter what sport, what season. I mean, we were talking, you know, football is obviously very tough. Volleyball is probably one of the best conferences in the state with so many great teams. You can say the same thing about basketball, you know, Panther Creek girls basketball went really far. Uh, and, and Apex softball just won a state championship. So it seems like every single sport, uh, the swack is just so tough. So looking at that, and, and again, for girls soccer, green level was really good this past spring, but we finished what third, fourth in the conference. I think so. Yeah. When I was looking, it's the swack. 
I think it's the toughest conference in the state, regardless of what sport you're playing. There's always, it seems like a team challenging for a state championship, making a deep playoff run, regardless of the, the sport. Uh, but I think that playing against that top, uh, top competition throughout the course of the season really does prepare teams to make that run in the playoffs. So I think like it's the iron sharpens iron kind of thing where you play against that top elite competition and it really prepares you when you're playing those other teams from other conferences late in the year. Do you have uh, any goals going in knowing how tough it, it's probably going to be? Um, I mean, obviously, our I'm going to talk to the girls about what goals we want to set for ourselves. But I mean, this is a team that's 13 wins the past two seasons. They've had good conference records, at like nine and five, eight, three and three, I think the past two years. Um, <clears throat> but competing for a conference championship is definitely something that I, I can see us wanting to set our uh, goals or sights on uh, and then trying to make a deep playoff run see what happens because uh, if you're going against that top competition like we said in the SWAC and you're able to compete against that I think you set yourself up well for a playoff run late in the year. Obviously we're talking about uh, girls soccer which happens in the spring so here we are in summer of 2023. What are the next steps for you and, and getting to know the team? I, I kind of walk me through how it's going to be for green level girls soccer before we finally actually get to the 2024 season. Yes. So <clears throat> I'll have the boys here in the fall. Um, I am stepping away from the JV uh, women's basketball position. And I think that'll give us some time to meet as a team, to have some some workouts prior to leading into the season. Because uh, I really do, I, I mean, I, this is part of me as a coach. Part of my philosophy is really valuing player input. So I really want to talk to some of those returners, um, see what what they think has worked well in the past few seasons, see kind of how I want to like put my vision, how I would maybe tweak things a little bit. Um, so using that winter and then leading up to the season to be able to have opportunities to meet as a team, to work out as a team, kind of establish that culture. Your favorite thing about summertime. Uh, getting to see my family because they live up in Vermont. So being able to make that trip and see them up there. What, what do you usually do? What, what are the things to do in Vermont? There's not much. Uh, it's very <laughs> local. Uh, so get to spend some quality family time. I get to see my nieces, uh, but like hiking, fishing. So like very outdoors kind of stuff. See the wildlife. It's always a fun time. Uh, what do you hate about the summer? Ooh, I mean, there's not much not much that I hate. The heat, I guess. Sometimes when it's really hot, humid, I guess that would be the one big negative of it. Yeah, I'm right there with you. I'm still new to North Carolina. I'm from Indiana, so I'm not used yeah, to Yeah, so I'm from upstate New York, so the right. first few summers, it was a big adjustment for sure. Yeah, we're used to, you know, cold winters, and, uh, yeah. and then coming down here and only having to turn the heat on like twice in the winter time was not a bad thing, but no. the, the heat in the summer, still getting used to that. So I'll agree with you on that one. I. Uh, you might have already answered this question, but your best summer vacation, is it spending time in family with Vermont or do you have another place that you really like to go to? Um, I mean, family in Vermont, I'm really excited because next week I'm going on my honeymoon with my wife. So I'm excited for that trip, we're going to Mexico. So that's, I'm excited for that upcoming trip. Congratulations. Thank you. We didn't even get to that, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, your favorite meal to make? Favorite meal to make? So this is gonna be kind of a random one, but chicken riggies, it's like very specific to my part of upstate New York. It's kind of like a spicy chicken pasta dish. That was always my go-to to make. What, chicken riggies? Riggies, yeah. It's like a very Utica, Rome, New York kind of dish. Okay, what what all goes into it? <laughs> so it's, it's like a kind of a spicy chicken. There's like pasta, obviously, and then there's a bunch of different like vegetables, like mushrooms, olives, so. Some people put greens in it. Greens are also something that's kind of specific to my part of the state. But yeah, that okay. was always my go-to meal. <laughs> All right. I, I would try it. That sounds good. Uh, final question, your favorite sports teams to root for? So I'm kind of random with this too. Um, for NFL, it's the Miami Dolphins. I don't really know why from being in upstate New York. I think I was Dan Marino when I was a kid kind of thing. Okay. Uh, but for all other sports, it's all Philly teams because my, my dad and my mom are actually originally from, right, uh, from outside of Philadelphia. So everything else, diehard Philly fan. But for football, it's going to be the Dolphins. All right. There we go. DJ Poland, he's the new varsity head coach for Green Level Girls Soccer. Can't wait to uh, 
see you in action in the spring and obviously still with the boys soccer team as well uh, coming up this fall. So congratulations, coach, on the honeymoon. Congratulations on uh, being the new varsity head coach for girls soccer. Thanks so much for joining us here on uh, Keeping It Real with Rob. Thank you. I appreciate you having me on.